It's True Vault Escapades! It's another case for Detectives Walter and Bunny in the post-nuclear world. Today's disturbing tale, Haunted House Blues. It's evening time somewhere way out into the Mojave Desert. Amongst our harrowed heroes is a line of well-dressed patrons waiting to enter the infamous Schaefer House, a residence racked with horror and controversy before the war that was converted into a yearly Halloween attraction. Walter takes Bunny by the arm as they wait for the front doors to open. Oh, Walter. This place looks absolutely swell. A real haunted house in the middle of the Mojave Desert? On Halloween? It's almost too good to be true. I'm surprised you're so interested in such things, Bunny. I thought this would just be another wasteland attraction that would make your skin crawl. (laughs) Oh, Walter, I need to let you in on more stories from back home. Vault 54 ran a yearly haunted house attraction in the atrium. Really? That's right. And ours were done with the most state-of-the-art pre-war holographics and animatronics. You'd probably jump out of your skin quicker than whatever this place can put together. Not to be rude, of course. (laughs) Pre-war ruins are the scariest places for guys like me to visit for a reason, Bunny. Your security system's already bone-chilling enough. Hello, dearest guests, to the one and only infamous Schaefer House of Horrors. You have traveled long and far for this privileged occasion as the Schaefer House is only open once a year, on the day of all days of horror, Halloween. Before we begin the famous tour of scares, please note that once you enter the house, you may not leave until the tour is over. Pass out in pure shock if you must, freeze in fear. The doors stay locked until morning. Oh gosh, Walter, I'm already so scared. (laughs) If we are at an understanding, then please enter behind me, single file. Oh, I'm known as Spooks, by the way. Gosh, this house doesn't look all that big for such an extravagant tour. Believe me, Bunny. These old Victorian homes can sure trick you once you step inside. The number of corridors and secret rooms can send you into a panic attack. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have asked. (laughs) (laughs) No, stop! As you can see, the old Schaefers preferred a rich yet rustic aesthetic for new guests when they entered. This still holds prevalent today. Notice the two sets of staircases that curl upwards to the upper floor. The chandelier you see dangling above you has been burning brightly since before 2077, as it's powered by nuclear fission. Yes. Nothing's wrong with the retro-modern atmosphere. Oh, Walter, nuclear fission. Just look how close we were to the perfection of energy efficiency. Uh Uh-oh, this hasn't happened before. Oh no, look out everyone. There seem to be ghouls coming at us. What the? (gasps) Oh, Walter! Ah, that was a close one. But not to worry. Those ghouls must have been merely a figment of our collective imagination. (laughs) Ha ha ha! Walter. All of those doors seem to work like a one-way mirror. 
like we could see what was on the other side. But the ghouls looked real. You took the words right out of my mouth, Bunny. There's no way that's any holographic image. That looked a little too real. Anything we need to be concerned about? Don't know. Probably not. But say, stay with the group. I want to check it out. Oh, oh, Walter, I didn't mean go check it out. I won't be long. Even though this is the beginning of our humble tour, I ask you to observe and appreciate the architecture of such a rare sight in today's world. The wood, the brick, all of it part of the original construction. Being they were a rich family, the Schaefers always had servants throughout the day to maintain the home. But even then, things began to go southward when the first son heard bumps in the night. Yeah, that's not a fake door. Odd. Oh no, it looks like Walter found something. Psst. Walter! We're gonna get kicked out if you get caught messing with their stuff. Uh, why am I doing this? Uh, yeah, I guess when you're used to investigating scams, you can't help but give it a look, even on vacation. What the? And now, with that out of the way, let me show you all to the upstairs portion of the home, where the real horrors are located. Walter? Walter! It's fine. Forget about it. We have to move upstairs. W walter Oh no. Walter? Ugh. Walter, where are you? And here, ladies and gentlemen, is the famous bedroom of the youngest of the Schaefer brothers, Marlon Schaefer. If the name sounds familiar, you've certainly paid attention in some form. Marlon was the brother who famously attacked his family, armed with nothing but the largest butcher knife he could possibly find in the downstairs kitchen. This was one of the biggest stories in pre-war American criminal history, as such an influential family became plagued with such a ghastly headline. After butchering his two older brothers, Marlin attempted to do in the rest of his family in the house, but his parents, Trisha and Carlo Schaefer, managed to lock themselves in their master bedroom and call the authorities. After what they described as an eternal wait, the local police found Marlin feasting on the blood of his brothers. When questioned about his morbid motives, Marlin begged police to believe him when he told them he had been confronting a murderous demon in his dreams for more than a month. The demon had instructed him to commit different acts of evil, and when it had enough of his constant refusal, the entity possessed Marlin's body. This was a disturbing chronicle for those who followed the case, but it unfortunately wasn't enough to avoid a conviction. Marlin was sentenced to life in prison, and the Schaefer home was left with an irreversible scar on his name. This, however, was not the end of their troubled times, nor the last time the Schaefer house was back in the headlines again. If you'll excuse me, I think I may have heard something down the hallway. If you fine folks could give me a brief moment to check it out, I will be right back. <laughs> Gosh, 
Walter, I hope you're okay. What the? The door shut. And the lights went out. Ugh. Here we go with another cheesy jump scare. <gasps> what the? Those turrets are coming out of the ceiling! Everyone get behind something! Gotta keep playing dead. No one's come in yet. If it's that robot again, I can take it down. No problem. Just gotta wait for the right moment. <gasps> There's someone coming down the hall. Oh no. I think that's more than one person for sure. Are they? They're ghouls, but definitely not the feral kind. I think they're dragging the bodies out of the room. Gosh, what kind of sick Halloween racket do these creeps have going on for them? Oh no, that one's coming for me next. It's now or never, Bunny. for a vacation. I slip behind one door, and I'm face to face with a hall of mirrors. What kind of game is this place playing? There are no games in the Schaefer house, only attractions. Attractions you and the rest tend to fall for. What? Who are you? I don't think I should grant you that privilege just yet. Let's see how well your perception can help you in here. What? Get off! Hey! Get off! <sighs> nice trick, but it's not enough to do me in, you crazy lady. <sighs> huh. A little slow on the draw at first, but I'll give you another chance. You and that girl of yours must be mighty clever to avoid my traps. Bunny? How do you know who she is? What happened to everyone else? Oh, don't sweat that little fedora off your pretty head. I've got my eye on the girl, and I must say, she's doing worlds better than anyone else I've seen before. And the rest? Dead. Too slow on the draw, I'm afraid. Why do you think I made these rooms? We occasionally get the stray escapee or two, and we simply can't have anyone going back to civilization and getting the word out. Who the heck are you? I'll consider telling you, after you prove yourself once again. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Phew. Very good, sir. It's always fun to unveil the true secrets of this place to those who have earned it. 
And I suppose you feel comfortable doing it with the assurance in mind they won't make it out. You know my mind, young man. Yes, yes indeed. With that being said, I am called Madame Schaefer. Yes, of the famed Schaefer family. We have been cursed by demons for more than two centuries, and we are called to bring humans here to stay alive. The demons may not have spoken to us for a long while, but that is due to our attendance in doing their bidding. I do not plan on breaking that cycle again. My family gets what they want. <laughs> I don't think you have to worry about stacking up your mirror budget anymore. I think I've figured out where exactly you're sending the ghouls from. Got anything else, Miss Schaefer? Gee, knowing what I know about the history of this house, you must be quite the elder. You know, take this as a compliment or not, but smart ones like you get awfully dull to toy with. So in your case, let come with May. If you make it to any one of my other game rooms, we shall talk again. But I don't think you will, based on what's about to happen to you. What? Was it really that much for you? Hey! Answer me! Where's Bunny? Let me out of here! Looks like this woman doesn't like it when you meet her wits. Now she's cut off the lights. Rats! She's flooding this place with ghouls! I've gotta get out of here somehow! Wall. I've got to find a door. Come on. Come on. Got it. Walter? Walter? Walter, where are you? Gosh, this place is creepy. Looks like a lit room. Maybe there's a window I can get out from. doing here you, you you're hanging those people hanging them all along the ceiling yes it's called bleeding them and you're about to join them too <coughs> get back here get back here and let me cut you ah! <sighs> Red, I say. Code red. Activate all doors in sector 2B. 2B. <gasps> Run all you want, child. You will be food for us all soon enough. There's a door coming up. Only way out. I have to risk it.
only 20 minutes of silence, and there are already more ghouls after me. That's an exit sign down the hallway. Oh, it looks too good to be true. But it's the only way that isn't flooded with mutants. <laughs> Don't run from your fate, Man-Thing. Stop where you are and accept the glowing embrace of my children. You can only flee for so long. Almost there. What the heck is that? An exit door? Really? What kind of fool do you think I am? Soon you'll be trapped between two waves of my starving children in this hallway, and your frustrating trickery will come to an end. No way I can somehow squeeze past the ghouls already coming after me. And apparently, this witch has another party of zombies trying to break in through my only exit. I'll be sandwiched before long. Gotta think of something. Fast. What's this door? Looks like it's sealed shut. Not even a handle I could try. Ugh. I don't even think I'm gonna have time to kick it in. Oh well. I don't care if it's a broom closet. It's better than dying in the open. Yeah! <coughs> 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 Some kind of big kitchen, built for a ton of cooking. I don't know how I'm gonna get out from here, but I've gotta keep running. This is the only door I see in this place. I can only hope there's another way out. Oh no. No, 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 no. <sighs> Just some cooking storage room. No windows, no other doors, no way out. <gasps> Who's down there? You're not one of them, are you? Quick, get in the dumbwaiter if you want to live. What? Who said that? Look, I know it's a tight squeeze, but you have to trust me if you want to get out alive. Hurry! <clears throat> Guess it's now or never. <clears throat> Looks like I'm going up. Maybe someone else escaped too? Well, maybe they know where Bunny is. All right. Looks like we're here. Perhaps someone can make sense of all this. By gosh, thank you, sir. If it hadn't been for you, I would have been a ghoul's supper. No problem. <laughs> That's better. Mother likes to play too much. Maybe this will show her how real hunting is done. Ugh. All right, come on, buddy. We'll return to our mystery after this. Have you ever wondered how deep the Elder Scrolls lore rabbit hole goes? Have you got a grasp of the basics and want to find out more about the universe? Written in Uncertainty is here to help you. We'll be mixing in philosophy, theology and whatever other theory is useful with Elder Scrolls texts to untangle some of the biggest questions in the series, like what are Dragon Breaks, how does Chim work, where did the Dwemer go and more. Check us out at writteninuncertainty.com or find Written in Uncertainty on any podcatcher. Thanks for listening, and catch you later in the grey maybe of Tamriel. 
Before we continue today's riveting episodes, we would like to thank the Patreon supporters who helped make this episode possible. To Joel Jackal, Michael D. Batkew, Krista Darkley, George Stocko, Hayden Kincaid, Keegan Pratt, Oakley Wright, Mike Tyson, Mike Gregory, The Donnie Difference, Don McCormack, Brian Snyder, Lost Paws Jr., Brandon Cullison, Jorge Vega, Richard Villa, Alex Roberts, Hodgepodge the Cardboard Wolf, Jackson Little, Critical Clown, John Baker, Shannon Dale White, Kylar Skulkin, Skygon, Van Hoffenheimer, Joseph Washer, Dean Callipy, Joshua Riley, Desmond Irons, and Undercover Squirrel. Thank you for being such dear listeners. If you would like to join this valiant rank of detectives, please consider joining the Dear Listener rank on A-Bomb Radio's official Patreon page. You can find it in this episode's description. And now, back to our story. Where did you say you found him again? I heard a bunch of commotion just a floor down. Checked the security feed and saw a bunch of our feral brothers chasing this guy like the Dickens. So I tricked him to come up here and meet me face to face. I took him down pretty easy. He was too tired to try anyway. Ha! <laughs> I love it when the humans have the hopes spoiled. What about the old one right there? Mal got him about an hour ago. We were hoping for a bigger haul earlier. But I guess we didn't have many stragglers tonight. Those security turrets keep getting more and more sophisticated. To our dismay. Oh well. I suppose we should get one last look at those security cameras before we rush to bleed these two. I'd hate to miss any more. Sounds like a good idea. Maul, you watch the door, alright? Hell, partner. You and me are in hell. Huh? Who... who are you? Name's Ben. I came here with my wife to see the sights and have a little fun, but... Uh, they got her before they could get me. You ain't been here long, if that's what you're wondering. The oldest brother dragged you in here with the others about ten minutes ago. Oh, I... I don't understand. I... I was being chased a moment ago, and, and then I was home free. They're blabbermouths. A lot of them. Ricky looked pretty proud of himself when he brought you in here all bruised up like you are. I think they see us as the ones they can play with more than the others. <clears throat> I don't get it. Why? And why are we <clears throat> dangling upside down here? To bleed you, partner. I've been like this for so long, I'm surprised I'm still conscious. Why they haven't done me in yet is a mystery, but I've already seen three others in your place thus far. What What do you mean they bleed us? Haven't you ever hunted Radstag, boy? When you take a fresh kill home with you, what's the first thing you do? You string him up by the legs and get that juggler vein. Who the heck are they doing that for? If they wanted to eat me that bad, I don't think they'd be okay with all those pharaohs getting so close to munching on me. I don't know exactly how they operate, but... I think they like to play cat and mouse with whoever breaks away. You said they had turrets? Ready to kill you all? <sighs> yeah... Had us all distracted, thinking it was part of the show until real bullets started peppering us out of nowhere. I was lucky enough not to get hit and play dead until the brothers came and dragged people out. I don't think I saw anyone else make it besides a few guys and some girl. She shot one of them and split before I saw the coast was clear and left myself. Oh, they got me with some kind of rope trap when I made my way outside. Wait, a girl? Did she have a vault suit on? Did she have blonde hair? 
Yeah. Looked exactly like that. You know her? Oh, you betcha, Grandpa. I know her. We came in together to have a little fun, just like you. I smelled something was fishy from the get-go and wandered off, so I got separated. Thank goodness, there's a chance she's still alive. What... what are you doing? I'm looking around for my shoulder holster. If I can reach it, idiots probably took my sidearm and didn't bother to pat me down for more. A good detective always has a shoulder holster. You mean you can get us out of this? Yeah. If I can... find it. Oh, thank heavens. If you can shoot off those chains, we can sneak away and have a second chance at all this. Oh, wait, wait, someone's opening the door. Darn. Just play it cool for now. Can we help you? What, what are you doing? Why are you putting that bucket there? Ma says it's bleeding time for you. No, wait. Ho hold on. Don't do it. Come on. Let me out of here. Fight me man to man, you freak. Your turn isn't ready yet. Don't rush the time you've got left. <laughs> got it. You gotta make sure I'm ready for whatever comes after I blast off these chains. <laughs> Looks like no one heard the commotion. Now, I need to find my way to Bunny. You killed all. That's right, and I'll kill you too. Wait, wait! Mm, no. Hey, who's that? You killed my brothers. That's right. Now come a little closer so I can finish the job. <sighs> Dang it, Ricky got away. <sighs> Whatever. Bonnie, where are you? Looks like a brightly lit room down there. That's gotta go someplace. children hungry for your body who are you why are you doing this to us you think you're prettier than me don't you with your long blonde hair and smooth face you're the type I hate the most <laughs> I have nothing against you please let me free from this place I'll leave you to my eldest son to project my wrath upon you until then I'd suggest you stop trying to climb out of the river. 
Lest you wish to die like a deer to a lion. <laughs> uh, wait! Please! <coughs> oh no! The stream is picking up! Uh, oh no, no! I think there's another waterfall coming! No! No! of my family's home, my dear. The old drainage tank. Hasn't seen much fluid since the war began, but there's still much purpose in this dank dome. Uses for prey like you. <coughs> Why are you doing this? Why do we do anything we do in this wasteland of a world? To survive, of course. This isn't survival. This is blatant trickery and torture. I saw what you did to those people back there. Oh, the turrets? Hmm. How can I put this? We know the majority of you will perish in the death room, but experience shows that a handful of you will get away. So we prefer a tidbit of entertainment, if you will. <laughs> All for the chase? If cannibals are what you are, fine. But there's a difference between hunting for food and hunting for thrills. <laughs> Don't kid yourself, girl. None of us are free from the delightful urge to watch our prey squirm before going in for the kill. So my family thought, why not embrace it? Well, if there's one thing I know about hunting, it's that sometimes your prey gets away and you have to deal with it. You wanted to chase me? Well, you've chased me. And if you ask me, I deserve the free pass. <laughs> A free pass? Oh, that's a good one, girl. What do you think this is? The woods? This is the Schaefer house. And nobody leaves the Schaefer's house without the family say so. Perhaps I would have found it within myself to give you another head start. But I'm sorry I'm not in the mood today. I've lost all my brothers to another straggler tonight. And I haven't found the courage to tell Mother yet. So the least I could do is to ease her pain, is to present her with some fresh blood from our longest ever runner. <laughs> I appreciate the title, but even in my current state, I don't like your odds if you plan to come down here and face me. <laughs> oh, I'll give you your space, little one. Believe you me. Hmm... I've yet to witness a runner make it all the way down here before. It actually makes me somewhat glad that you evaded us for so long. With a pull of this lever, the water reserves come flooding out of the pipes you see in the ceiling. Oh, don't feel so bad. You get to test it first. When I was a boy, I always loved to see rats drown. Wait! No, wait! <laughs> we had a vote whether or not to release the water in drips or gallons. I suppose you could thank me for the tiebreaker. I prefer the more intense struggles. <laughs> when this water takes me up to you, I swear on everything I love, I'm going to kill you! <laughs> sure, dear girl. Sure. I'll have fun watching you float behind my door's portal. Then I'll finish off that other one that's given me so much trouble. Mother will be so proud. <laughs> other one? What do you mean, the other one? <laughs> Dang it. No other way out of here. That water's rising fast. 
I gotta stay calm. I gotta use what little air I have left. I can see it now. I can't pick my way through that door either. It's sealed to keep water out. Okay. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. What am I gonna do? I, I can't even... <coughs> <coughs> the water is about to meet the ceiling of this place. I... I don't have time to... I gotta make for the door. <laughs> you played the game well, little rabbit, but the wolf still caught you in the end. <laughs> ah, sure am enjoying the air out here. <laughs> Shows you a lot of who gets the last lap in the end, and that'll always be the Schaefer's. <laughs> and there she goes, a true son of a gun to get a grip on. No, hmm, I'm sure her blood is as rare as preserved pre-war Merlot. Well, best get her in here if I intend to keep her that way. Nobody likes watered down drinks. Besides, mother would be pleased to see this. Slender little thing, huh? Certainly not all that strong, but agile as can be, I bet. No wonder she outran spooks. Well, I best sling this one over my shoulder, get to draining. Should have left me in the water. Played you like a sap. Just one long hallway here. Ricky? Ricky, what's going on? Why can't I see you over the security camera? Why have you gone silent on me? Here, let me switch cameras. Maybe you're out of the room. What have you done to my son? What's that? A door? There's light coming out of it. That must be a way out. <gasps> Walter! Bunny! Walter! I was so worried about you. Where have you been? I was stuck in some gigantic chasm beneath this place. That woman, Schaefer, she was doing something. Testing me or something. She said she was watching you too. Oh, Walter, it was awful. I was mostly on the second floor of this place, but then that robot found me when I was trying to escape and forced me to jump down some trap door that led me to some sadistic drowning room where that man just kept talking was a hall of mirrors and a murder room for me. I met her non pharaoh family and dealt with them accordingly. One of the brothers got away. That must have been him that you got rid of. Ugh, good. 
They must have been the ones I saw dragging the bodies of the other tourists when I was playing dead back there. That robot... Spooks? He was... Bleeding the corpses like deer on the upper floor. They're collectors, Walter. Or something like that. Well now, it seems Spooks and the Madam have us right where they need us. No prey has evaded capture for this long. You may pat yourselves on the back now, but this will only be used as an example to deter others who flee. Hey, Spooks! I think we've earned our freedom after all this, eh? Yeah. Were these games meant to be won, or just a means to see how good they work? Don't play games, ladies and gentlemen. I shan't have to tell you the game of cat and mouse amongst men has resumed since the bombs. So you survived the traps. That's fine. That doesn't mean we don't have eight kinds of poisons to try on you. What's happening? You two seem to be mighty slippery, so the madam thought it would be best to preserve you instead. I hope you enjoy cryogenics. We've never had a chance to use them before. What are those? I think those are cryo grenades. And that looks like enough to freeze us solid in our tracks. <laughs> I love it when they squirm. <laughs> <clears throat> It's no good. The observation window is bulletproof. We need to get out of here. It won't be long. Wait, Bunny! That terminal over there! See if you can hack it. Hurry! Good eye, Walter. <laughs> Foolish girl! Your newfangled techniques cannot hold a candle to the reliability of pre-war firewalls. Go on, keep trying. Oh, I can't wait to see the look on your beautiful human face when... Got it! I... Uh, what? No! No! <sighs> Let's see how you like it then! No! <sighs> no! Here, I'll seal the door. <clears throat> no! Let's see how he likes it. Quick thinking, Bunny. Thanks. Phew. Phew, indeed. Say, let's finish off the madam before we cut and run. She's clearly too slippery to risk waiting on authorities to get. Need us not forget, Walter. We are the authorities out here. Good point. Well, she can't be far. There only seems to be one more set of rooms ahead of us. Let's watch our step this time. This lady obviously likes her trap doors. Don't bother speculating anymore. It'll only waste time. Take me at my word or not, but my office is in the room at the farthest end of the hall. Last one. Can we... Hug the walls. Look for tripwires or anything of that nature. She's not escaping this one. You can doubt me all you want, but I shall be waiting here with the door unlocked. You killed my family. You too. But, it's not like I have much to live for. Hmm. Still, let's play it safe. Right behind you. Let me see some hands. No funny business. Oh, don't be so dramatic with the guns and all, detectives. I have no weapons with me. Hands. The desk. Now. I... I... Follow the lady's instructions, ma'am. You'd be wise to do so. Ah, <sighs> see? No gun. May we talk now? I don't see what we could have to talk about. After what you've done, and tried to do. After 200 years, anything can become normal when you give it time. I'm pretty sure rounding people up like cattle to kill has been frowned upon for more than a couple centuries now. 
To us. I mean, the practice has become routine for us for many generations now. It was only quite recently with the newfound authority figures like the NCR that made us formulate the traps. One peep about this, and we're done for, you see. Humor me, then. Why did this sort of thrill become Schaefer family tradition? The Schaefer family has always made it a prerogative to separate ourselves from the common beats of the wasteland. Yes, I know we may kill those who have perpetrated not of us, but this isn't about what we do, but how we do it. This separates us from them. By shooting them and preserving their bodies for later? That's hardly any different from what I've seen out there. And by luring unsuspecting folk in each year just to do it? Ah, uh, two holes in your exaggerations about me. I make the elimination process of our prey one of the most efficient and pain-free. Simply to be shot this day and age is considered a blessing, no? And luring is such a predatory word. The prey's state of mind is relaxed and unassuming. It's not like I am individually dragging them as they know what's about to happen. If only I kept interview archives of all my perps, you'd be in my top five list of sickos. Unlike your perps, dear boy, I perform my killings with purpose. Do you consider our ancestors murderers because they had to ambush their prey? That's out of the question. Nothing about what you monsters do is a required need. And that's where you're wrong. My family has lived here for over 200 years, and never in our lifetimes have we even thought about finding our sustenance this way. The sustenance? Yes, sustenance. Even though our home has managed to withstand the full brunt of the atomic blast in 2077, my family and I unfortunately sustained the awful horrors of radiation poisoning, which then turned into ghoulification. It was a disgusting transition. But as long as we kept our sanity and each other, we'd go on just fine. However, skipping a few decades, each of us developed a hunger unlike anything we'd felt before. The steaks can be ordered rare, you know. <sighs> Ditch your games, sir. We already tried that. We already tried everything from Brahmin to bloat flies. Nothing stuck. The craving of what we hunger for was blatantly obvious from the beginning. But nobody wanted to say it. So, me and my family had a sit-down and formulated an annual plan. The Halloween house. Exactly. I wish I could explain to you how relieved we felt the first night of feasting. Come to find out just enough blood could keep us sated for most of the year. Every year we just end up discovering more of its benefits. The less exposed you are as a person in the wasteland determines the quality of your blood. The longer it helps us survive. This is what made us raise the prices of this event and attract wealthier customers. And wealthier customers mean the likelier chance they're probably less tainted than your average wastelander. Smart girl. Yes, the healthier the blood, the longer we can live without it. I've explored every other way to avoid this process. I really have. But only so many pre-war clinics and hospitals have preserved blood banks. The trips become too dangerous as well, so I thought... Why not just keep having them come to us? Ah, don't look at me like that. Don't you see that what we've been doing here is the only way to prevent us from becoming true monsters? You can say that until the sun comes up, Madam Schaefer. But you shouldn't be surprised when the hunter becomes the hunted sometimes. Either way, the people of the Mojave in New Vegas deserve answers from you. All those people, all those missing relatives, they may find it hard to believe. But when we give them a tour of your murder house, the truth of how morbid some people can truly be will gain a whole new definition. Oh, I can't come with you. After everything I just told you, I hope you can understand why I'd rather die than spend the rest of my life denied sustenance. Hey! Put it down! Don't think I don't understand the severity of my crimes in your little world. 
But with that in mind, of course, you can understand why I can't let you both leave here. <sighs> That's the end of her. That's the end of her bloodline, really. Um, no pun intended. Did you see how she handled the gun just before? She was planning on shooting herself at the thought of imprisonment. But I guess some part of her held out hope for this nightmare to continue. I did. It's odd, though. What's that, Bunny? Her whole spiel. She tried to justify all the generations of people she and her family killed. And I hate to say it, but can you totally blame her? It's weird, I know. But what exactly does one do if their life depends on taking other lives? Take themselves out of the game, I reckon. But I understand what you're saying. Zombies are brainless beings who need brains to survive. But what if a zombie has a brain too? I don't know. This whole situation has been far too unique to find middle ground somewhere. One thing's for sure. The Schaefer family was a bigger threat to the world than the world was of it. Guess we should contact Radio New Vegas. They're not gonna believe this one. Hmm. This has been yet another hair-raising mystery of True Vault Escapades. Tune in next time for our next episode. Today's story was written and produced by Preston Hardin, edited and mixed by Ethan Walsh. In Haunted House Blues, Walter Camry was voiced by Eric Huffman, Bunny by Crystal Romero, Spooks by special guest star Sir Spooks, Madame Schaefer by Kari Schultens, Jamie by Austin Rogers, Ben by Wyatt Henry, Mal by Preston Hardin, and Ricky by Jaxus Conway. Be sure to write and review this podcast from wherever you're listening. Also, consider joining our Patreon for exclusive behind-the-scenes content and custom stickers. You're encouraged to visit our social media, Discord server, and merchandise store by visiting the description below. You can also subscribe to Sir Spooks on YouTube for all the best paranormal content by following the link in this episode's description. Until next time, this has been True Vault Escapades! to a Robots Radio podcast. Smart shows for interesting people. Check out all the shows at robotsradio.net. Ahoy there, ye landlubbers. Avast. My name is Captain Logan, and I'll be your guide out on the Sea of Thieves. If you love the idea of stealing treasure, cutting down cursed skeletons, fighting off krakens, and raiding forts filled to the brim with shinies, then Sea of Thieves is the game for you. Join me each week as I dive into the news and bring back the nuggets of information that any sailor worth their weight in salt would desire. You don't have to be a pirate legend to gain access to my podcast. Just search for Keelhauled, a Sea of Thieves podcast in your podcast app of choice or head over to robotsradio.net or captainlogan.podbeam.com and get ready to set sail for adventure. Arr. The hosts at Robots Radio get a lot of questions from people who are interested in starting their own podcasts about how they can start, how they can grow their audiences, how they can create good content, even what microphone to use and what software to use, things like that. Well, we're changing things up at Robots Roundtable to talk 
and share about the things that we've learned, the things that work and the things that don't. We're sharing with you our actual real world experience. How can you launch a show like the Fallout Lorecast and get as many listeners as we did early on and rock it to the top of the charts on Apple Podcasts? How do you create a show in such a crowded marketplace as it is today, as opposed to 10 years ago? We're getting together every week to share our answers with you. Just look up The Podcast Professor. A robot's roundtable with the hosts from Robots Radio.